I am super excited, and so should you. This is the 2024 R-Pod 203, and it's the one time I feel like the off-road package makes sense. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the Honey Badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is a factory fresh 2024 R-Pod 203. Now, as usual, you get a one five gallon propane tank, just like you do with almost all R-Pods, electric tongue jack, a space for two batteries, battery disconnect, which stores your batteries when you're not using them. Now, if you've seen my other R-Pod videos, you're gonna hear me like repeat myself. And again, a lot of times, guys, I do this freestyle. So there's not a lot of editing. There isn't a lot of sound effects. This is just me walking around and talking about it with a bunch of without a bunch of jump cuts. They talked so much trash that they were gonna change a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm talking about the industry as a whole. This R-Pod has the same graphics as the 2023. So nothing changed. The beast mode package didn't beast mode package didn't change. You still get the independent Curtis suspension. But in this floor plan, in this particular trailer, to me, it makes sense. It's a bigger dual axle trailer, unlike the smaller, more popular R-Pods. And I'll show you why inside. Mostly because of weight. You got so much storage capability in this travel trailer that you're gonna have a lot of people probably overloaded a little bit. And we'll go to GVWR and wait in just a minute. You got the ladder, you got the storage door, now what happens is, as the bunk bed is flipped up right now, I'm not gonna flip it down until right now, it's just for video purposes, I wanna show you that. So let's close that door. So that gives you like storage for like fishing poles, coolers, seats. That's gonna be your main outside storage. You have a little bit underneath there. I don't have the keys, so I didn't open them up. Same thing in the front as well. But I like the size of the power awning it almost goes the full side of the trailer or full side full size of the trailer the only thing i don't like about the power awning is if you have the door opened up all the way you're gonna hit against the pole to me why i mean unfortunately they couldn't extend it any further because if you look the way they build it they round the cap for aerodynamic purposes so they went as far as they could and when you look at the layout, you'll have a better understanding why the door is there as well. So I complain about it, but I know in the end they did the best they could. So I'm going to catch them, give them a break. By the way, if you're enjoying these type of videos, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Six gallon hot water heater. You have an area to put a uh, barbecue grill. If you look here, it gives you all the packages. So we got solar on board, Asdale fiberglass, and you have the beast mode package. And then you also have the tire monitor, tire pressure monitoring system. Boy, I can't say that very well. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, well, you know what? We're gonna slightly step inside. Turn the camera. We're at 25 feet even bumper to bumper, and it weighs 5,168 pounds. If you want a price, please leave your city and state in the comments section, and I will get you a local price. If you want my price, I attach it to the website that's in the description box below. Your GVWR is still very reasonable and half ton towable at 7,725 pounds. Each axle is 3,500 pounds, and you're at 65 PSI with 15 inch tires. So, in my professional opinion, and as we go inside, this is actually a really nice travel trailer. And I, I'm okay with the off-road package. I bash the off-road package a lot. This right here is the one trailer so far that they've built it makes sense in. So the best Murphy bed setup, in my opinion, in the industry, we're gonna do this one-handed like we do in a lot of other videos. Flip it down, flip it down and then you put your mattress down. Now, the other reason why, besides being able to do this one-handed, is because you get two full closets on each side. Now, I don't like the design where they put the TV, because it kind of gets in the way of the cabinet door, but we can't have everything, right? More closet. 
Now, if you look here, you actually have outlets and USB ports on each side of the bed. Now we're gonna flip this switch. When we flip that switch, it turns on the closet lights. And I'm gonna go and show you one side, the other side has it too, but there's a little storage area right here. Same storage area on the other side. Oh, I'm breathing hard today. Okay, booth dinette and the kitchen. And I like the bar stools, man. I mean, Ibex and R-Pod and No Boundaries make something very similar. Same floor plan, pretty much. I just like that they put the bar stools to give you, give you the extra seating along with the booth dinette. So six people can literally eat at the same time and together. Now, I like drawers better, as most people know. But again, good storage area under the dinette. It's better than having to lift up the cushions. <laughs> so I like that, but I do like drawers better. That's just my preference. You got one plug here and that's it. Okay, now you do have a plug, uh, if I remember right. Do you have a plug up here? No, they do not have the plug up there anymore. So you only got one outlet right here for all of your kitchen stuff. So blender, things of that nature. I do like the bigger sink, as most people know. I'm a chili guy, pasole, tortilla soup. You need a big pot for that. This looks really fabulous. I like the counter space. It's not bad for a smaller bunkhouse travel trailer. They go to the deep cabinets like they've done for years. Ibex, no boundaries, R-Pod, all built out of the same factory, same cabinets. What I don't like so far, guys, as I'm opening up all the drawers, is they didn't change anything. They, they talked all this mad crap. Now I'm talking about not just R-Pod, not just Ibex, but the entire industry talked so much crap during the summer of 2023, the summer of this year, about all the changes they were going to make. And they didn't make any. Well, most of them didn't make any. So the cabinets are all the same color, cushions, countertops, all the same color, packages all the same. I do like the convection microwave because you're replacing the oven. Two burner stove, good with that. Six cubic foot propane electric refrigerator. Again, my favorite refrigerator for dry camping. And then of course you got the full size bunk beds, but here's the difference. Unlike most other brands, one positive thing about our pod is they do supply you with a ladder to get on the top bunk. All right, good size pantry. I think that's nice and tall and deep enough for dry food, cereal, you know, hamburger helper, canned goods, propane furnace. And again, I love the fact that they didn't get rid of the central vac. I know some people have been on the fence about it. Me personally, smaller travel trailers, this is almost a necessity, especially if you like to off-grid camp. And in the bathroom, same bathroom as the Ibex version. That looks really good. Toilet's in a good spot. Let's see if I can, oh, there we go. I was doing it backwards. Shower's in good size, except there's a gnat that came out of Indiana. He decided to make the trap trip out. <laughs> All right, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. If you wanna see more our pod travel trailer uh, walkthroughs. You're going to see this little thing that pops up either in the top right hand corner or in the middle. That'll give you a playlist, including my review of the 2024 R pods as a total. Now, if you have any questions, please let them in the comments section. You also have my contact information down in the description box below. And as always, remember toolkit and sense of humor. That's what RV stands for.